Disney has had a stellar run, six months up 25%. Everybody signed on to Disney Plus faster than anybody knew. And all they need is a good vaccine and the theme parks open, right? Um, you know, anecdotally and speaking with clients over the last few weeks, we know a couple of people that have been down to the park in Orlando. They all said it was packed. Um, and if you look on Monday with Pfizer's news about, you know, possible vaccine coming out, Disney stock popped 12% on that news alone on Monday. So, Aaron, what do you think here? It's at 135. I mean, for example, CFRA has a buy rating. I think they have a 140 target. Um, is it the streaming space? Is it the theme parks? What are you most interested in for revenue going forward for Disney? That's a great question. I think it's really a mixture of both. Um, if you look at the streaming space from November of 19 through August of this year, Disney Plus gained over 60 million subscribers. Um, obviously, you know, the parks are a big part of their, their revenue stream as well. So I think Disney's kind of a big play on the shift from, you know, the work from home trade into the reopening trade. And we'll really see what kind of progress that makes with what kind of progress we have with the with the virus. Uh, and actually, if you talk about Disney's management, you know, they've been talking about making some structural changes and really focusing a lot of their entertainment and media divisions on streaming. Um, you know, if you compare them with some of their major media competitors like CBS Viacom or Fox Corp, they're down at least 25% on the year versus their streaming competitor in Netflix, which is up over 50%. So I definitely think streaming is is the right way to go and they're heading in the right direction.